What's up guys, in today's episode, I go over the Gent Tonic pedal by Black Cat Amps, stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and huge shout out to truck driver Sean, Sean Davis. I'm going to put a link below uh, to his YouTube channel. If you have not followed truck driver Sean, there's something wrong with you. Anyway, uh, so he sent me this pedal, and funny enough, I haven't even used it yet. Um, but I want to say it is an overdrive pedal. Uh, but the best part with this is the fact that Aside from having the level and the gain, it also has separate uh, high, mid, and low EQ, uh, as opposed to the single, the typical single knob tone. Wah, wah, what do I do with just one knob? Like, how do you how do you adjust anything with just one knob? So, uh, and there's also a warmth button in the center for those of you guys that want to chill with your little black cat and show some warmth. Uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid, don't listen to me. Um, so I will be using uh, my Randall Diablo because it's a great amp and testing something like this, which is a pedal I have not tried at all, uh, is fun. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and dial the low to three o'clock, the mid to, ah, let's set that to 10 o'clock and the high to three level. Let's, I'm gonna hit the Randall Diablo I actually have set to you know, I want to say it's gain is at one o'clock. So, which is me dialing it back a bit. Um, so I'll actually have the gain set to 11 o'clock here on the pedal and then level at one o'clock. Let's just call that warmth will be off, but I can't wait to try that and hear what that sounds like. So, um, I'm going to do a Sean Davis where I will just plug it in. <coughs> so it'll just be live and you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like as I try it for the first time with you. So, um, let's go here, do, 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 plug output, plug input, plug power. Make sure it's working. It is on, okay. <clears throat> so I have my trusty Jackson. off now and um i'll just dial it in and see uh actually ah i should have used you know what i'm gonna pause this and i'm gonna use a longer cable so that way i can actually just adjust it right here in front of you so let me just pause this okay unpause so i have this cable that i'm going to run here Ah, oh, your mother sucks. Everything's powered, damn you. All right. I need a bunch of longer cables for the power.
wasn't half bad. Uh, at first, I felt like I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Uh, then I blamed the pedal in my mind. Uh, <laughs> but it actually sounds really good. Um, it actually has this little USB-C on the side. And it actually had, I don't know what it does. I don't know if it charges it. Um, but I like it. But you know what it reminds me of? The Seymour Duncan 805 where with the exception of the fact that this pedal has a warmth uh, button, which I actually tabbed into at one point and tabbed back out. It almost made it a little muddier, but I realized that like anything else, you have to dial in the amp to work with the pedal that you're using. Uh, but I really like it actually. So um, should you guys get the Gent Tonic spelled D-J-E-N-T-T-O, what? And I, okay, there is two T's. Uh, and tonic, T-O-N-I-C, and it's just one word with a little black cat because the company is called Black Cat Amps. Um, it's, you know, listen, if you're looking for an overdrive that isn't your typical Maxon OD808 with the, you know, my whole thing is I don't really care much for the single tone because I feel like, you know, it's 2020. Like we should be able to shape our own tone and not have just, one single, eek, tone this way, till I gotta to pull it back. Too much tone, um, where you can basically leave your amp uh, at, you know, your EQ on your amp at noon um, across the low, mid, and high, or treble, and then just, you know, take care of that EQ right from the pedal. I feel like that's just a better option. Um, it's just my, it's just what I personally like. Uh, but if you've never tried an overdrive pedal that has its own separate mid, um, low, mid, and treble EQ, you have to try one. Uh, so this pedal, I would say, is better than the Seymour Duncan 805. And if you've watched my previous uh, videos, then you already know that I completely love my 805. <clears throat> but, um, but this one's a little better. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Hit the subscription or the subscribe button over here on the side. Uh, I will put the link to Black Cat Amps so you guys can check out that pedal. And thank you again to Sean Davis for sending me a box of pedals to try out. Uh, and I have a few more, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you guys soon.